All right, folks, today I'm gonna to talk about some canoe tweaks that you can do. This is for a plastic canoe, uh, but this actual first tweak would work on a metal one as well. Um, first thing I've done is I had trouble getting rod holders that would actually work. I spent a lot of money getting ones that failed, a lot of more clamp-ons that would just not hold right. They would slip off. I tried uh, drilling my own holes and using the uh, bolt-on ones. Those, uh, they, they didn't work too great either. I finally found one that will work for just about any uh, canoe or even a, a John boat, as a matter of fact. They are made by Shore King. As you can see right here, Shore King Boat Rod Holder. They are on eBay. They are actually sold by the Grizzly Jig Company out of Crothersville, Missouri. As you can see here, they're only $6.99, but actually if you get on eBay and it's still through the Grizzly Jig Company, you get a, a three pack for $17. I'm gonna go outside and show you guys what how easy these are to install. There's only one downside to these that I found so far, and that is they do not work well with very heavy duty rods, such as this one right here, such as a catfish rod uh, with a really big butt on them. Uh, they would work better for small, uh, medium light action rods like crappie rods in, in your smaller bass rods and whatnot. All right, I'm gonna show you guys uh, what they look like. Uh, I just purchased a three pack of them. I wanted to make sure they worked. Now I'm going to get three more. Um, basically, you just take them. This is just a simple, plain plastic canoe. You want to, and also I forgot to mention, this thing is adjustable. If you loosen these, which it takes an Allen key, it looks like about a 3 16th around there, quarter inch. Uh, you can actually turn this. 360 degrees so if you want it diagonal straight out or whatever you can change that uh, I just prefer mine straight out and these are hooked is what makes these so much better than the other ones were just a straight uh, u-shape and they weren't hooking on there and when I tighten them down they would just slide off okay what you want to do with these you want the hook the hooked in on the inside of the canoe and of course you want them about two feet from where you're sitting in front of you you know out about a foot from your knee um, and then you just hold it with your thumb and tighten it down and it's as simple as that now what you could you can get it tight enough by hand but I prefer that you uh, grab a pair of pliers and turn it that extra quarter turn or half turn and uh, I'm gonna use this uh, mostly in the winter when I'm live bait fishing just to keep me excited when I'm vertical jigging for wall I always like to set up two or three poles for spotted bass and flatheads and voila you just set it in there and there you have it folks and like i said if you loosen these with an allen key you can sit here and, and turn it and adjust it and uh that is the cheapest one i found that is actually worth the money you got all these fancy rod holders uh ones that you got to drill the plate on and then you de can detach them every time uh, between trips you know because you don't want to put it on top of your vehicle uh, with rod holders obviously hanging down but those things alone, the plates, the, the mounting bracket or plate or whatever you call it, alone are $16. And then the other things, if you, you end up spending $30 for each one compared to $6.99. So why? You can always find an easier and cheaper way to do things. Look, works just fine. I only tighten this one down by hand. And look at that, I can't move it at all. But I would, like I said, I would use pliers. But it holds perfect on this. It, it, it will definitely work I can tell even if I get a bite and this thing's on I can I think I could even set the hook just by jerking this up enough as long as I hold it and it's not gonna come loose look at that see I can set the hook get my fish on there before I dismount my pole to uh, reel it in all right that's my first tweak up next I'm going to show you guys how to install rod holders and what I mean by rod holders is not like I just showed you. Um, one of the most frustrating things in a canoe is having a bunch of extra poles that you're constantly trying to avoid stepping on. Um, me and my girlfriend have come up with a method 
where you can secure two rod and reels on each side of the canoe for only two dollars. Alright, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in just a few minutes. Alright, bye.